It was a lot of years ago that John Burstein of Lincolnville created the character Slim Goodbody. He's known to kids, a lot of kids, particularly through television, also through books and through other media, but he has other talents as well. Not Slim, but John Burstein. He's got a show coming up at the Rockport Opera House this week, and he's with us here on 207. Thanks for coming in. It's good to Thank see you, you again. I'm glad to see you. You too. were putting on a production of a show called Symphonosaurus, and That's we've got some props here that you were kind enough to bring in. What is Symphonosaurus? Symphonosaurus is a symphony of dinosaurs. It, it combines some classical music, mm -hmm. and it combines original pieces of music, and it helps to educate kids and their families about the, both the world of the dinosaurs and the world of the symphony. You like to come up with ideas that are really imaginative. When you were on 207 last time, you yeah. were talking about a show in which appliances and things like that in a pantry came to life at night in a kitchen, and they danced <laughs> and they right. sang and so forth. How do you know when you've got an idea that's, that's out there enough that it's going to capture kids' imaginations? Uh, when, when an idea that, that I have has what they call legs of its own, you know, you start, you come up with a concept and then that one concept reveals another and another and another, so you're not struggling to make something work. It's like you get this idea and then, oh, I can do this and then I can do this and then and it opens up like that. It unfurls in, in front of you. With Symphonosaurus, you've got storytelling, yep. you've got humor, you've got costumes and props. How much, what's the, what's the kind of balance that you're looking for? How much is entertainment and how much is education where you teach kids something? Uh, I'd say about 80% is entertainment, 20% is education. The education is hopefully mostly subliminal. Mm -hmm. We do talk about etymology, which is really interesting. For instance, the word dinosaur, that means terrible lizard. It comes from the Greek, dinos and soar. But dinosaurs weren't in fact lizards. Lizards walk with their legs out to the side. You right. know, dinosaurs. So part of it's that. Part of it's uh, introducing a family. You know, dinosaurs came in families, so do the stringed instruments. So I get to show within a context of what's going on. So the kids learn a little bit about that. But mostly it's to have fun. And it's also so that they experience a, a live music, not digital, right? live music actually played by a group together and it's a group experience and it just opens the door, you hope, so that when the next one comes they won't go, oh, a symphony? I'm never going to that. That's going to be so boring. It's a great way to introduce them to orchestral instruments and performances. Exactly. And you brought some uh, props with you. Let's start with the masks that you have down okay, there. Okay, well these I've been debating. Now you asked me before, how do I know if something's good? I, I ordered 12 of these that right. cost nine dollars and seventy cents so I spent big. Budget. Yeah, I blew the budget on these. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna put the Palaver Strings, this wonderful group of musicians, in these when they first come out. The Palaver Strings is the group that will be accompanying you at this performance That's in right. Rockport. And they are about tw uh, 12 really, really talented musicians between 20 and 30 years old. So, so the idea is you put this you on, put this on and you, you look play. vaguely hey, like you look, a dinosaur if yeah, you've got you know, a good imagination. It'll get a, it'll get a laugh. Alright, All right, so else? this is part of the show. This is a dinosaur toe bone. A toe bone. A toe bone. Of, of a brontosaurus. Of course. And by the way, brontosauruses actually exist. They thought that they didn't. They had big controversy over that, but they're about 60 or 70 feet long. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites. This is a Tyrannosaurus, terrible Tyrone, and it's a, it's a full costume. I didn't bring the full costume, but this is a beautiful piece of puppetry. It is nice. You know, um, and I suppose one of the really cool things that I want to show you is this is a costume, uh, part of a costume. Oh, a different sort. Yes. <laughs> now this, I'm not going to put it on my head, but this goes on the head, and this represents a dinosaur called the Parasaurolophus. Mm -hmm. Now the Parasaurolophus was a duckbill dinosaur. That's the one that had a big crest yes. at the top of its head. Okay. And the Parasaurolophus would blow through its nose, and it would go out through its crest, and that's how it would get girlfriends. It would call to girlfriends, and it mates at the time, and we do a song called uh, Parasaurolophus Looking for a Girlfriend song, uh, this lonely Parasaurolophus. And because we don't have a trombone, when I used to do this with symphonies, we had trombones, I had to figure out what to do. Now you ask about the way nature works. So look at this cool thing. This is a kazoo. <laughs> but it looks like in the shape of a trombone. trombone and who would have believed that they would have had something like that it completely made your day this, when you when discovered I that I discovered this I thought holy mackerel although I don't know where that word comes from holy mackerel I, I'm just thinking about that you have any idea real quickly what is your favorite part of doing this show um I love oh man we have a uh, there's so, so I love singing that's part of it but I think it's just the incredible 
and this is going to sound so corny, but it's the incredible joy of all of these little kids who are just like captivated and they're they're in la la land and we're all singing together and doing it's, it's just great, great to get that kind of audience response and with kids it's instantaneous symphonosaurus thursday three in the afternoon that's right at the rockport opera house with john bursting and the palaver strings thank you for coming in john thank we you appreciate it more information on that performance on our website and mobile app in the 207 section and we'll be right back